Today we're going to be installing something really cool. Right off the bat though, we have like parts being delivered all week so guys subscribe because uh, our ZL1 Camaro is getting an overhaul. But today we are going to turn things up a notch. If you missed the last video, we installed a really sick cold air intake that's made of carbon fiber. And we're doing something similar today, except that it's on the inside. We're gonna be addressing a steering wheel that I think that you all are going to love. I've already cheated, I've already unboxed it. I wanted to make sure that everything was good to go before I actually started rolling the camera. And let me tell you, it is something special. Now, I'm not a, a huge guy. I'm 5'11", and I've got a, like a large size hand. Even here on like the 10 and 2 notches, this to me is just, it doesn't do it. It still feels like a little pencil in my hand. Hands. This is not a sponsored video by any means. I get no kickback if you guys purchase this wheel or not, but I will go ahead and link down in the description where I bought it. But first step is obviously to uh, dive into your trunk here, go into the passenger side, and then we can disconnect our negative side on the battery. That way we don't have any airbags popping us in the face. First step is to grab like a small pick, and then I've already got it. Oops, I'm dropping things. Anyway, on the sides here, really hard to tell with the camera and the lighting, but there's a hole. There's also, right there is another hole. What you wanna do is shove this into the side here, and then make sure it goes in you know, a decent amount. You're gonna find where it'll start to actually kind of push in. It'll be really tough, but what I found is if I push on the steering wheel on that side, that where that hole that I'm working with is, um, it'll actually kind of sink in a little bit more. And then as it goes in, then you'll use two hands obviously and pull on the other side. And and then you'll just give it a tug. So as we open this up, then you can kind of see what's going on back here, hopefully. it's It's got springs on here, so you're gonna be pushing that little silver clip in right there underneath my finger. That's what you're gonna be pushing in, if that makes any sense. So then, carefully, we're gonna start dissecting some of the wires and connectors back here. Okay, so what I thought was gonna be like a five minute thing to get a wheel off is uh, incredibly difficult. So that clip right here, which is this one here, you have to get a pick in, in here and just be careful. But I need I had to get a, a pick to kind of push down on that bottom lip here. And I know the camera's not picking this up very well. And then I had to have another one come in on this other side. Come on camera, let's go focus. I had to push down on this and then also pry this away and just be very careful. Do not break it. I did not. Because you have you have very limited um, wire here so you can't really bring the airbag that far away so just gaining access is really tough so I recommend um, some like dental picks and stuff like that then these which are your terminals for your airbag in this orientation here um, because they're so recessed and down in here and you can't really get a finger in between so again dental picks you got to go in and uh, you got to pry up and then you got to do both sides at the same time and then these will pop off but it's honestly it's Took me like 30 minutes to get just the airbag off. We have it free, so good news, and nothing is broken. So honestly, I think we're on the home stretch now. We just got to get a star bit to fit that, and then a power tool, and then we'll be able to take our factory wheel off, and then we can line them up side by side with the other one and show you exactly how easy this is going to be. <laughs> this thing, this booger here, so it's got blue Loctite all over, right? And it's really kicked on there. Deal. But anyway, that is also. Let me get the torque torque bit uh, the size for you t50 torx bit and it's still even that half inch impact it took a minute to get that thing loose but all we got to do now is literally see if we can do it with one hand and my knee nah no, we're gonna have to two hands, two hands. Before we can fully separate, I gotta get the rest of these uh, wires and clips and everything, and then it'll just slide off. And I'm not gonna lie, this is, um, I've done plenty of steering wheels on like Mustangs, and they're like 30 minute jobs, they're easy. But we finally got this wheel off once I figured it out. Again, this is my first time, you know, so, uh, you know, I've learned a couple of things and what to do, what not to do. And not that we've made any mistakes, you know, just taking our time. But um, anyway, we just gotta be really mindful of all the push clips, but I digress. In front of us, we have our new steering will lined up against side by side with the uh, old one and I think you guys are gonna be uh, really impressed I certainly am so let's go ahead and spin the camera and show you what it looks like okay so we have our OEM and again you know feels fine honestly this is a big upgrade for a lot of people is you know the ones that like Alcantara and it's the same similar size wheels like a regular SS Camaro um, nothing you know against it nothing wrong with it but if we move over here and this one is just so much beefier let's zoom out if we can, now let me get real tall. 
look at the difference there. Holy crap. This one is actually from Wild Hammer. Again, I'll link the website down in the description. This is definitely a lot beefier. So the, the cool thing is like, unlike a Mustang, for example, maybe uh, some of you guys have never messed with one, but when you order a custom steering wheel for like a Mustang, for example, you just get a naked wheel. You don't get any plastics. You don't get this or that. You just get like the wheel and you have to generally transfer all your electronics and everything over to the new wheel. This one, however, is already assembled. I mean, head to toe, our airbag is the only thing that needs to be swapped over. But anyway, I really am loving the size difference here. This is a lot different. And this is, a, of course, a flat bottom, flat top. I do wish that we could carry over the ZL1 badge here to here. Like if there was like an indentation here so that we could just, you know, change that up. Some companies out there offer them, but for 750 bucks that I paid for this wheel, I think this is a home run and maybe I can find one of these and uh, just put it over here and do something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. You know, I like the fact that it is a flat top steering wheel, so I've never had something like this before. But the feeling in the hand is... It's very thick. Finger indentations on the back of the wheel. I'll show you the thickness difference. So there you guys can kind of get the idea. We will lose our heated steering wheel option. Yeah, all right. So let's go ahead and throw it in the car, but this is it. Literally all we have to do really is just feed our electronics through. When I pulled the other one off, this thing came loose and um, hopefully I put it back together properly. That should not come loose but once it's back and tight you know it should be I would think a non-issue I just don't want to come back back apart I need like four arms to do this I guess it's just not my day to mod but I mean it it fought me <laughs> putting the steering wheel fought me about the same uh, going back in just about as hard the same I took it for a test drive I finally got the wheel seated took it for a test drive everything works all of the new cruise control because remember that some of the buttons are a little different since I don't have the heated steering wheel option anymore which is unfortunate but I mean honestly I'm pretty happy with the wheel it feels delicious in the hands we are still going to take it for a test drive POV style so you guys can get the the full experience but all we really need to do left now that everything is good to go is put in our airbag but I do want to show you this real quick so real quick, if you look at this arrow right there, okay, uh, then there's a another indicator, a little line there. You want to match those up. So that gets your steering wheel position back to the way it's supposed to be. And then for whatever reason, going back on is just really tough. They've got a lot of these little teeth on the wheel, and it was I had to give it a little love going back in, but no big deal. This will be left for me, um, not clipped into anything because that was the heated steering wheel option. So I'll just kind of tuck that down there. There, this is, there's like no room in here to do nothing. This is tough. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Clip, airbag, please don't go off my face. I did plug in the, uh, the power. All right, we're good. So now give it a push and it did not go. What? Just happening. Just not my day to mod. Is that what's happening? Literally nothing is in the way. Come on. There we go. That's tough, dude. <laughs> All right. So we're done. Wow. What a difference. <laughs> this is crazy. It's really cool to see the flat top and everything here. So uh, again, I wish I had the ZL1 badge. Um, Wild Hammer, if you see this, when you see this, you know, again, this is, you didn't give me this wheel. I paid for it. But I think that people would appreciate some cut their logos back down here if that makes any sense so anyway other than that i really like it i mean you got carbon fiber here which looks really good delicious so do a pov style and take you for a ride and you guys can see the difference and how everything looks it's a bit thicker so it's going to cover up some more of the dash let's get you on the road that way you guys can see for yourself let's go all right guys here we go we're going to finish out the video with a little pov we are 24 hours later so i've had again one full day to spend with the steering wheel so I can give you kind of my own thoughts. I like it so far. It is extremely thick. Forget my voice. I'm a little sick still. Just trying to get over this winter cold, but everything, the reach to the paddle still feels good. The, the steering wheel still feels fantastic. I love the fact that we have this, you know, flat top here in conjunction with the flat bottom. So really cool. I've never had something like this and it doesn't really, it, it, it doesn't, I was kind of afraid it might be like, angled weird on certain roads and it might kind of like throw off my eyes or something and it's not it, it's fine there's still a slight curve 
you know, to the top here. I like the Alcantara. This actually feels a little bit more premium than what actually comes from GM. And I like the carbon fiber here. This is not an overlay. This is an actual replacement, which is really nice. So it's a very high quality wheel. I think for that $750, $850 price range that you'll pay for these, the money and the value is definitely there. Um, you know, there's a, a couple of little gripes and complaints that I have with it, which really are nitpicking it if I have to. You know, the stitching and everything, it's it's all perfect. You know, it's, it's the same general size. If I could change anything, again, I wish I could have an emblem here. But, I mean, that's nitpicking, guys. Now, my biggest complaint, though, and this is something that no matter what manufacturer you go with, you're probably going to run into, and that is this shape right here. Okay, this raised area, which gives you a nice feeling when you hold the wheel like this, for example. Problem is, let me get pulled over here and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. The Alcantara with the Carmen. But anyway, so now we got the sunlight shining right on this, this lip here. It gives it a nice shape and profile, but I wish that the this raised section did not come all the way down this far. I wish it ended and started to go back in around this area. I don't need that much. What happens is it feels kind of sharp in the hands right here. If I drive like this a lot, and I always feel like this is poking me, and I wish that you know there was an option to not have this raised lip. It kind of protrudes a little bit. It's not as, as slim as like right here. And I know, again, you know, I'm just nitpicking here. The 10 and 2 notches are very aggressive. You do have the finger grooves up here. Um, everything about it is completely solid. I mean, this could pass for OEM, honestly. Hopefully, you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about here. I wish that this area here would disappear about right there and start to go back into the regular wheel. I love the fact that we do have these notches here, just like the 10 and 2. We have them down here as well. So... So that way when you're turning, for example, it gives you something more to hold on to. No matter what direction, you know, you spin the wheel, you have, you know, grip. I'm going to hit some corners up here real quick, just for a minute or so. And then I'm going to kind of shut my mouth and let you guys enjoy the POV. And then I like content like that. I like videos like that where you're not just talking all the time. So that's for how we're going to finish the video. And just let you pretend like you're in the seat. You know, pretend that you're driving this, for example. Or you can gauge your own thoughts off of that. guys I hope you appreciated that little POV stuff sorry for my voice uh, just getting over this winter cold or allergies or whatever it is no it's not the bad word but you know what I'm talking about anyway I think it's a home run I think everybody should buy this I think it feels good I think it's a very strong build quality I mean none of this is loose down here it's as solid as OEM 100% um, I've seen no flaws with this all the carbon weave looks good there's no sharp edges nothing cut weird um, it's just perfect I think for the money you're getting a factory wheel basically because this is not like a Chinese knockoff this is an actual 
actual GM wheel that's been molded um, and shaped like it is so you're not replacing your OEM parts with something cheaper that might not survive a crash and I think that's important too you know this this is being an OEM that's reshaped and everything so I anyway I hope you appreciated the video hopefully you found it informative and fun and uh, it is a tricky install but I mean give yourself about 30 45 minutes and uh, just take your time and be careful you'll have no problems but I love the steering wheel again hopefully you guys do too and if you have a 16 plus Camaro SS um, RS or whatever any of those trim levels ZL1 like this one this will fit it and I think that you will really enjoy it so again not a sponsored video um, all of my thoughts and opinions are mine I own them I own this content and I really think there's nothing bad to say honestly at the end of the day I think that uh, it's it's definitely worth the money but again links down in the description uh, shout out to Wild Hammer you know for providing such a product like this I really appreciate it and I'll see all of you guys in the next video stay tuned because we've got some big stuff coming um, some very expensive stuff in the garage already so definitely stay tuned to the channel man it's coming your way very very fast see all of you guys later god bless you bye